Hi there. Uh, one of my viewers uh, sent me an interesting suggestion. He pointed out the fact that uh, recently the megapixel war seems to be, well, not over, but at least it's no longer running at full steam. But now there's this fascination with bokeh or bokeh or however you wish to pronounce it. The idea of throwing all of your backgrounds into some dreamy mush. <sighs> Again, I don't, I, I don't know what word to use. Is it fashion? Is it fad? Is it folly? Or is it just marketing? Think about it for a moment. For the first hundred years of photography, photographers tried their hardest to get as much as possible in focus. They wanted as much depth in their images as possible. And they dealt with backgrounds. They, they framed their images carefully. They made sure that distractions in the background were eliminated by composition. Now, for a few years, the digital camera business could really pump you up for the next biggest step in the megapixel wars. Because it sounded like a huge jump to go from 6 to 10. And then it sounded like a big jump to go from 12 to 16. And from 16 to 24. And from 24 to 36. And But let's be honest here. The way most of us uh, take our pictures, we've finally come to the realization that 16 to 24 megapixels is probably the sweet spot for most of us anyway. We don't really need more megapixels. So now, what are they going to sell us now? Well, now we all need full frame. And the reason why we need full frame is because we can now get that shallow depth of field with full frame. Okay. So I got my full frame, and I've got my shallow depth of field. What now? Well, now the lens manufacturers crank things up to 11. Because what are they doing now? They're producing ultra-fast lenses with extremely well-corrected optics so that you can isolate your subject from the background even more effectively than you could before. Okay. I think I've had enough. I like out of focus backgrounds as much as the next guy. But I think we've really overworked our fascination with that. To the point now where camera phone manufacturers are putting in ways to artificially induce bokeh because of course with the tiny sensors means that they have a very short focal length lenses because that's what makes the difference. It's not the size of the sensor. It's the focal length of the lens. So with these very short focal length lenses, they're, the depth of field is huge. So they have to cheat. They have to fudge it a little. They have to come up with software that will blur the backgrounds in, in a realistic manner. Well, as I said, I, I don't know whether to call this folly or f a fad or fashion. All I know is that if you compose your images carefully and put your subject in context, I think you have a good image. If you want to throw your backgrounds out and you want that nice dreamy background, it can still be a good image. But all of the images don't have to look the same. And that's the problem nowadays. There's, there's this sameness. Everybody is going for the, here's my subject, nice and sharp, and the background is woof, gone. And uh, I'd like to see a little more variety out there. Well, that's about all I have to say on this topic. Uh, I've sort of getting, gotten off the megapixel train. Uh, I do have a couple of fast lenses, but I'm not going to run out there and buy a lot more. So, if you like this video, click like. Uh, if you want to see more of my videos, be sure to subscribe. And of course, if you think anyone else is going to get something good from this, then share it. 
Bye for now.